turning Mixamo character into a um, HIK rig is not very hard. In fact, uh, you can do it pretty quickly by just, I like to go to frame negative one, and then you can just zero out all the rotations and you get a perfect rig for HIK. So this is pretty easy to turn into a full rig. So you can basically instantly go to a rig. It's easy to bake it <coughs> to the control rig. And now you have animation in from, from, no, you do not. There. Uh, and you easily have animation on your control rig. But when you go from a Paragon character, for example, it's not as easy because the the rigs don't zero out. So when you take this character, it's nice animation, but it doesn't you can't zero out the rig even remotely. Uh, you kind of get this like exploded view and even if you say oh maybe some of these are just need to be rotated 180 or oops too many zeros um, that maybe you'd get there but this just is never um, it's never going to be it so the way I like to do it or the way I've found to do it is I'll export just the main rig with nothing, um, nothing, no animation. It's fine. So we'll start by just importing the clean rig, and then we need to set them up into a T pose to get to the. But it needs to have basically a perfect T pose. So what I'll do is create a locator on the shoulder I will just I'm just hiding the the joints so I can see the clear shoulder and so I just snapped to the joint by holding V and I'm coming out to the X direction so what I'm gonna do is select that select the locator select the arm and then we're going to aim constrain it so what we want to do is we want to look our we have the Z I mean the X direction is down the joint so that's our aim vector <clears throat> and you can see the up direction is the Z so we want to change this and then we should be able to constrain it again select here uh, that looked let's just check check that again so in this case, you can see that the uh, that our orientation is not the same as the other joints. So again, we can just look at it and say that our up vector is now oops. All right. And then I will do the same thing with legs. The only thing you have to know is that you gotta kind of hide anything that gets in the way because they have a lot of extra joints in there. And then just we're, what we're doing is we're always looking at the joint. So it's like here we have the negative X is going, so it's not pointing down the leg, it's pointing the opposite. And then um, I think our world up uh, I don't actually know. Let's try this. If, it, if Y will work. Yeah. So what I don't want to do is I don't want to see these things flipping when I hit that constraint. Again, the Y is pointing backwards. Perfect. So that's good enough. Now I'll do the same. Th I'll pause the video and do the same thing on the other side and then we'll move on. So now we have the rig set up in the perfect T pose. We create a character definition uh, by selecting the root. So I've already made an Unreal template by 
basically going through and right clicking but it's still not going to work so what's what's broken is if I would select what it thinks the hand is even though it, it's named properly uh, in the definition I still have to come back and say assign this you sure and then it basically found the other hand and now it's like oh yeah now this rig works it's fine and then what I'll do is you just lock the rig create a control rig I kind of like to just hide these joints, these extra, um, something happened down there is not perfect. Oh, okay. Let's undo all the way back. So when it said it was perfect, it was not. I lied. So, oh, no. Not, so, so again, I just hit undo all the way back, assign. I feel like rigging is always re-rigging. <laughs> it's like so what it when I if I would have just tested this it, so it thinks that's the foot. That's the problem. This is the foot, assign. Yes. Yes. Sometimes it also gets the head wrong. Let's make sure that's the head. Okay, that's the head. Let's look at the neck. Yes. Yes. Okay, so all I'm doing is just double checking that all these joints are selected to the right. And you can even check the hands um, to make sure that these, these, I don't really care about the hands as much for what, for my purposes, but it's also one of the easiest things to, for most animations, it's easy to uh, just animate the hands into a pose or uh, unless you have first person, then it's particular, but you wouldn't use this animation for that anyway. All right, now we're ready to, you don't even have to hit lock. You can just hit control rig, it'll auto lock and wait for it. Oh, it, no, yeah, am I wrong? Dead wrong? Oh Lord. Can I hit undo? What's happening here? Did this, did it break again? Go back. Somehow it un undid that when I try to do the shortcut. <clears throat> uh, why I'm leaving these in, these mistakes, is because this is just how it works with working with with HIK. It's it's kind of it's buggy. It's frustrating. It's annoying. See again. Oh, that broke. Like why why did you do that? Like what what happened? All right, now let's just hope everything goes according to plan. Lock, let's just see if it breaks. Unlock, doesn't, everything's still here. All right, uh, yeah, I don't wanna make it make anyone think that HIK is like a dream to work in. I think it has its own challenges, but it does do some things very well. So we now have the rig in HIK. And what's cool about that is we can now start importing animations and then baking them down to the rig. So if I, I'll save this as, well first, let's clean this up a little bit. Um, so I just want to get rid of the, like the um, these, I, not get rid of, but just hide these IK joints because we're not going to be using them. And I can also hide these joints. Just to keep it clean for when we're looking at it because these are animation those are joints that are not going to bake to the hik rig so they're not very important i don't mind leaving the face because it sort of helps me see the head shape um, but so this will be my base so the last thing we have to do is clear out all those locators because they are still constraining the original rig but now we have the rig and what's nice is that when we import let me hit save on that. When we import animation, it'll come in 90 degrees off, but otherwise uh, you'll get like the full the full character animation for that can now be put onto the rig. So what the first thing I'll do is we need to 90 degrees 
rotate that. Let's see. that rotation rotation it is 90 positive last frame is 90 that's not 90 36 all right so that's important to make sure you have the whole range of animation but now when if we if we set bake to control rig you'll have that exact animation now in HIK on the control rig.